join me for 45 minutes of gentle movement to alleviate stiffness, stress, and minor aches and pains. This full body flow is designed to help you feel good in your body. Practice this three or more times a week and you'll notice improvement in your posture, in your body and breath awareness, and in mobility in your day-to-day -day life. For this class, you'll need a yoga mat and two blocks. If you don't have blocks at home, you can use a stack of books or a rolled up towel. See you on the mat. All right, everyone. So let's get started here on the mat. We're gonna begin our practice on our backs, finding a comfortable position on your back. We can begin with the feet grounding down and the knees bending. Take the arms wide, open up the palms, and close your eyes, feeling the natural curve of your back. As the eyes close, we bring our attention to the breath and our awareness into the body, noticing the sensation and quality of your natural breath. And we can keep the feet planted here and the knees bent, or you could choose to walk the soles of the feet together and let the knees drop open to start to open up through the inner thigh and hip area. Keeping the eyes closed, begin to extend your breath, deeply breathing in and out through the nose. As you breathe in, feel the belly rise, feel the chest rise, and as you breathe out, we hollow the belly. Long breathing in, long breathing out. See if you can bring all of your attention to the breath. All of your awareness into the body. And we can notice the movement of the mind without attachment or judgment. You'll notice that thought will continue to pull you away from your breath and away from your body. Each time we notice, we gently guide our attention back to the breath. We can use our breath as a landmark to the present moment. We're gonna take three or four more really deep breaths here. On the inhale, think about creating space in your body for breath. On the exhale, we gently remove that space. Two more breaths. On your next breath in, you can start to pull the knees together if they're wide. Feet hip distance on the mat and take your arms wide. We can keep our eyes closed. We're going to let the knees fall over to the right and turn your gaze to the left. On the inhale, pull the knees to center. Exhale, knees to the left, turn your gaze to the right. Side to side with the knees, following the rhythm of the breath. Every inhale, we come to center. Every exhale to our side. We're opening up through the side waist, the outer hips, and the low spine here. Let's pull the knees over the chest on the next inhale. As you exhale, hold onto the knees, the shins, or the backs of the thighs and pull the thighs over the body. We can start to circle the knees. We're grounding the sacrum here. change direction and then come back to center bringing the arms wide this time turn the palms down and as you exhale let the knees drop over to the right this time they're going to hover above the ground and we're going to engage the belly we have the option of extending the top leg we might even extend both legs belly on 
On your inhale, bend the knees, come back to center. Exhale over to the other side, hover above the ground. Press into the floor with your arms. Option of extending through the top leg or both legs here. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, over. And then side to side with the breath. Listening to the body. Each exhale brings you over. Every inhale brings you back to center. Gently toning through our core. Good. Opening up a little more deeply through the outer hip. each side with the breath and if you lose your breath you can always come back to it Good. coming back to center grounding down through the feet let's bring our arms down by our sides feet hip distance or wider we want to make sure our knees stack on the ankles now on your inhale we're going to lift the hips toward the ceiling as you lift the hips, we're lifting the belly, lifting the chest, and the weight shifts into our shoulders. We can lengthen the back of the neck. Plant the arms. As you exhale, carefully lower back down, one vertebra at a time. And we'll come into some bridge breaths together. On the inhale, press into the floor, lift the hips. Lengthen the back of the neck, press into the shoulders, and as you exhale, carefully lower back down, one vertebra at a time. We can add in the arms if you want a little more. On the inhale, the arms float up and back. And as you exhale, they float down by your sides. And we could invite a deeper breath. Inhale. Exhale. On your own. Follow the rhythm of your own breath. Let it guide this movement. Two more breaths. Last breath in and out. Pulling the knees back into the chest. And we can roll over to our right or left side. Press into the ground and sit up. So we'll find a comfortable seat on our mat. You're welcome to sit on a block. If you need a little more elevation for the hips, it will help to drop the knees and lengthen the spine. So either on the ground or using one of your blocks, we can find a seat. Crossing the legs, we'll bring one heel in front of the other. Lengthen the spine. Feel rooted and grounded through the sit bones. On the inhale, let's take the arms high and wide. We're going to interlace the fingers and send the palms to the sky. Lengthen up and a little bit back as you breathe in, getting ready for some eagle breath. We're going to take the arms wide and wrap left arm under right. Bend at the elbows and then see if we can get our palms together. If you can't get the palms, maybe you can reach for a thumb. If your elbows aren't hooking, then we'll bring our hands to our shoulders instead. Wherever you are, we want to pull the elbows away from the body. The shoulders drop down the back and the fingers reach. On the inhale, we're going to lengthen up and a little bit back, gaze up. On the exhale, hollow the belly round the spine and bow forward. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, bow. And you can feel this in the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale. Powerful inhale and exhale here. Two more breaths. Opening the shoulders. One more breath. On your inhale, take the arms wide and high. And on the exhale, take them wide and we're going to bring right arm under left. So we can try eagle bind on the other side. Bending at the elbows, bring the palms together or hold a thumb. If elbows aren't connecting, hold the shoulders. On the inhale, take the arms wide and high. 
Looking up, gazing up, open up. Exhale, hollow and round. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, hollow and round. Following the rhythm of your breath, let it guide the movement. Two more breaths on your own. On your inhale, take the arms wide and high. On the exhale, bring the arms down by your sides. Drop the shoulders down the back, lengthen the spine. Plant through the left hand and take your right arm up and over. Exhaling here, lengthening the right side body. Inhale back to center, up and over, other side. So we want to really keep the length here, whether we're inhaling or exhaling. And on that exhale, while we keep that length, we're reaching and extending. Following the rhythm of the breath, side to side. Every inhale pulls you to center. Creating space through the body. We're getting into our side waist, our ribs. One more each side with the breath. Inhale, coming back to center. We can bring the hands to the knees. Pick up the shoulders, roll them back and down. We'll do two more like that. One more. And with the shoulders back and down and the spine long, let's drop the chin into the chest and breathe into the back of your neck. Slowly roll the right ear to the right shoulder, lift the chin, down through center, other side. And a few times side to side, opening through the neck and shoulders. And we can make full circles with the head if it feels okay on the neck. Maybe two circles one direction and change. Good. Softening the space of the neck and shoulders. Inhale, let's press forward into a tabletop position on your mat. So we can remove the block if you've used it. Tabletop, we have the knees under the hips and the wrists are under the shoulders. Fingers spread nice and wide on the ground. We can extend one leg back at a time, plant through the toes, reach through your heel and let's open up the back of the leg. Same stretch for the other side. And then back to tabletop, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. On your exhale, we're gonna actively press the floor away with our whole hand. Hollow the belly round the spine, chin to chest. On the inhale, lengthen the spine. Pull the shoulders back. We might drop the belly and lift the chin. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, lengthen, drop the belly, open the heart. Exhale, press the floor away. We're activating the hands, the wrists, the arms, the shoulders. We're opening through the chest and belly. We're opening up the spine. Follow the rhythm of your own breath here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, exhale. From here, we're gonna shift our hips to the right, back into the heels, over to the left, and forward. Inhale forward, exhale back, circling from your hips. This is dancing lion. And we can walk the hands a little more forward on our mat if we need a little more space here. This pose gets into the outer hip. We get into the low spine. We can feel it in the whole body. Changing direction to even out the movement. And we can keep our eyes closed to connect more easily to our own body and our own breath. On the next exhale, sink into the heels for child's pose. Bow the forehead toward the floor. On your inhale, we lengthen the spine. And on the exhale, feel the head, heart, and hips sinking down. On the inhale, we lengthen. 
the exhale we sink one more breath on the next inhale come through your tabletop we're going to come into a lifted cobra so we're lowering down to the thighs and belly and then as you exhale ground the forehead we'll bring one hand on the other and rest our forehead on our hands you can pick up the feet and let them drop side to side Lowering the feet back down, taking the hands either side of the ribs. We're coming into a little Cobra series here for our back core. We're going to lift the chest, lengthen from crown of head to toes. Let's walk the legs together, press down through the tops of our feet. And we're going to activate our quads. Right now, my hands are barely touching the ground, so I'm using my core to hold my chest high. Shoulders pull back lift the hands and see if we can float those arms back actively reaching through the fingers forward through the crown of head find your breath here on the inhale see if we can find length in our bodies on the exhale we may lift the chest a little finding length and lift on your own this might be very subtle for you maybe all we're doing is lengthening but that's fine active reach back through those fingers two more breaths one more breath. On the exhale, bring one hand on the other. Rest your forehead on your hands. Pick up the feet and let them drop side to side. Soften the space of the low spine and hips here. Lowering the legs back down. We'll take the hands either side of the ribs the same way as before. We're going to lift through the chest, light on our hands floating the arms back and then from here we might lengthen from our hips through our toes and lift those legs on your inhale we're finding length right where we are on the exhale we might find a little more lift through the legs so maybe you're finding that lift maybe we'll focus on just lengthening here but find your breath let the neck be an extension of spine for three for two for one exhale one hand on the other forehead on your hands you can pick up the feet let them drop side to side lowering the feet to the floor let's take the hands either side of our ribs pressing up to the knees and back to down dog stretch so from here we're picking up the knees off the floor Sending those hips high, let the head drop heavy between the arms. Fingers are wide on the ground and we're using our whole hand again. Press the floor away, start to pedal the heels left and right and let's get into those hamstrings. On your inhale, come forward to a plank position. We're gonna let the knees tap the mat. Take your hips back and up and return to down dog on the exhale. Inhale forward, knees tap the mat. Exhale, press back and up. Building energy in our arms, hands, legs, and core. Good. If you want to power up a little, you could let the knees hover on the ground so maybe they don't touch the mat. If you need a little more support, we can slow down the movement. Maybe let the knees rest on the ground a little more. Inhale forward. Exhale, back and up. Good. One more like that. Let's come back into our plank pose, drop to the knees. We're going to lower back onto our belly now. Taking the arms wide, rest your left ear on the ground. We're moving into a nice little pectoral stretch, shoulder stretch. We're going to activate that left shoulder. Reach through the left fingers. Plant your right hand in front of you. And then roll over to your left side body. So we stack our hips. My left arm is still extending back behind me. And if I want more, I can take my right leg high, bend at the knee, and then reach for the floor behind me with my toes. So see if we can reach for the ground. For some of us, we'll touch. For some of us, we're hovering here. And if we can do a little bit more, we might float the right arm high. This is opening now. 
through the right shoulder as well. We can feel that deep stretch through the upper chest and collarbones, and of course, that left pectoral, left shoulder, maybe the right hand behind the back. We can open a little more deeply. Relax the neck, jaw, tongue, and throat. Make sure the head is resting on the ground in your body with your breath. Now for some of you, if you want to take it a little deeper and you have the flexibility, right hand will reach for the foot and we can kick into the hand and send our hips and heart forward as we kick back. On your exhale, wherever you are, we're going to use the right hand to gently guide the body to the floor. Taking the arms wide, resting the right ear on the mat. And we'll try this again on the other side. So I'm rolling over to my right side body, picking up the left leg, bending at the knee, reaching for the floor behind with the toes. Toes might touch, they might not. We could float the left arm high for more. Feel into that deep stretch on the right shoulder. If we want to take this deeper, left arm behind the back and we open the top shoulder. Come into your body. Come into your breath. For some of us, we have the flexibility. We can take it deeper. We're reaching for the left foot, kicking into the hand, sending hips and heart forward as we kick back. Exhale, carefully release it. Let's bring one hand on top of the other. And again, just rest the forehead there on the hands. Picking up your feet, let them drop side to side. Coming to the toes, hands either side of the ribs. We'll press back up to the knees and back to downward dog stretch. Hips back and up, pedaling the heels, planting the hands evenly. From here, we're gonna look forward and step our feet to the top of our mat. Bring hands to shins and lengthen halfway. Inhale, exhale, fold. On the next breath in, we roll up one vertebra at a time. Engage your core to rise. And we'll take the arms all the way up. Reaching and pulling up out of your hips, up out of the ribs. We're gonna hold on to our right wrist. Reach through that heel of hand and come up and over to the left. Exhale the breath. Inhale back to center, switching the grip up and over other side. One more each side, switching your grip, lengthening on the inhale, bending on the exhale. Inhale, switch it over to the right. Back to center on your inhale. We're going to take the hands to the low spine, fingers pointing down, feet hip distance apart. Bring the weight into your toes. Lift up through the upper chest as if there's a string attached from the chest to the ceiling. And then let the shoulders and head fall back. Keep the weight forward in your feet and keep lifting the upper chest. Keep the breath moving through the body. And maybe on the exhale, we can drop back a little more deeply. On the inhale, we lift through the upper chest. Find your breath. On the next breath in, we rise, separate the feet a little wider, bend the knees, and guide the upper body back down. Let the head hang heavy, reach actively back behind you, and from here, let's interlace our fingers. Pull the shoulder blades toward each other and reach through that finger grip. If you have broad shoulders, you might need a towel or a strap here to hold on to, or just find an active reach. Find length here, we might be able to drop the head, bring the weight a little more forward in our toes. On your inhale, sink the hips low, sweep the arms forward and high, press your feet to the floor and rise. Bring the feet together, we'll come back to chair pose, legs together, hands to heart. So here we're squeezing our legs. If that squeeze isn't available to you, then we'll separate the feet a little. We're gonna come into rocking chair together. On the inhale, we rock the weight into the toes. We take the arms high, gaze up. On the exhale, hands to heart, sink back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So 
We're powering up through our feet and our legs. Use the breath to guide the movement. Find a more powerful inhale, powerful exhale. Breathing in and out through the nose. Inhale, exhale. Building a little heart rate here. Four more breaths. Three more. Two more. Last breath. Holding chair pose, sink a little bit deeper. Lengthen the spine, drop those shoulders back and down. Take the arms high and wide. We're gonna bring the weight into our right foot and send the left heel forward. Good. So hold there. Find your balance. <clears throat> From here, we take the left foot halfway back, hands to hips, and square the hips forward. So we're coming into a warrior one, bending through the front knee. From here, take your arms wide, and on the inhale, we're going to send the heart forward, lift the chin, and lean into that front foot. As you exhale, soften the back leg. Reach forward, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, heart forward, chin lift. Exhale, hollow round. And if you need a little more space, we can heel toe the right foot to the outer edge of our mat. And that might help you with a little stability here. We are playing with balance as we shift from the front foot to the back foot. Opening up through the ribs, through the heart space. Follow the breath. On the next inhale, we bring the weight into the front foot. We're going to lift off the back foot and play with balance here. Strength and balance in the standing leg. We can take the arms wide. Set your gaze on a fixed speck on the floor in front of you. We're engaging our quads, engaging our core, planting down through our foot. We might lift the back leg, drop the heart for a little more. Square the hips to the floor. Warrior three for three, two, one, bend your standing leg, take the left toes way back, soften both knees and reach high. Straighten the back leg, lift, and then we're going to open up for warrior two, reaching forward, reaching back. So warrior two, the right knee bends, the back leg is straight, we're pressing through the floor with that back foot, and the quads engage, we're open through the front hip. Let the shoulders sink. Left hand to back leg, right arm is high, peaceful warrior. Inhale. As you exhale, bring your forearm to thigh, left arm overhead, and then circle the arm to the floor. Back behind you, inhale high. Three circles for the shoulder. And then change direction. Rise on that third circle. We're gonna look forward and take one or two steps to get to the top of our mat. See how many you have. So from the top of the mat, we'll come back to chair pose. Taking the arms high and wide, legs together if you can. Bring the weight into the left foot, send the right foot forward, sink deep. Hold and breathe. Set your gaze, we're balancing on the left foot. Take the right foot halfway back. Hands to hips, square the hips forward. So your back foot should be about 45 degrees. Front toes point forward. If we want more space, heel toe the foot to the left edge of your mat, bend the knee. Arms wide, heart forward, inhale. Hollow round, exhale. Inhale the weight forward, exhale back. Try to find fluid movement through your arms. Soften the neck. Find your breath. Inviting a nice, powerful breath here. On the next inhale, bring the weight into the front foot, lift off the back, strengthen balance in the standing leg, arms wide. Engage your core, engage your quads, find length everywhere. And if you want, we can lift the back leg, drop the heart. Hips stay square to the floor, holding for five, four, three, two, 
One, bend the standing knee, take your right toes way back, both knees bend and we reach high. Straighten the back leg and lift up and then we'll open up for warrior two. Warrior two, we want the knee stacking on the ankle, the back leg is long and strong, arms are wide, shoulders drop back. Right hand to back leg, left arm is high for peaceful warrior, we could reach a little more back. On the inhale, back to center, exhale, left form to thigh, right arm overhead. Circle the shoulder, circling the arm down to the floor, back behind you, inhale to reach high. Three circles with the breath. And we can change direction. On the third one, we're gonna circle down to our mat and take the left foot back, downward facing dog. Come to the knees, sink back into the heels, child's pose. In this child's pose, we could take the knees wide for a little more space. If you need a little more help in your child's pose, you could also take a block under the forehead. So if you need space, use your block. Taking a couple breaths here, just slowing the heart rate if it's lifted at all. Steady inhales, steady exhales. On the next breath in, we can roll up and find a comfortable seat on the mat. We're going to come into a little heart opener from here uh, with our blocks. So let's go ahead and take one block vertically on your mat and the second block is horizontal behind that. So we're going to use the horizontal block under the head and the block that is the length of the mat that's going to be under the upper back. So from about the mid back up. So we'll go ahead and lie back over your block. Feeling the support of the second block under the head. Taking the arms wide. So we should feel our sit bones on the mat and the shoulders are reaching. They're dropping over the block. Arms are wide. We could bring the feet wide and let the knees drop into each other, or we might bring the soles of the feet together and let the knees open up. Closing your eyes, and we'll take a little bit more time in this one. So this pose uses time, breath, and gravity to deepen the stretch. Noticing the sensation through the front ribs collarbones, shoulders, tune into the spine. See if you can lengthen out the breath. As you breathe in, think about creating space in your body for breath. And as you breathe out, we gently remove that space. Keeping your eyes closed and your attention in the body with the breath. And with each exhale, see if you can feel the body dropping over the block toward the floor. So we surrender to gravity with every exhale. With the inhale, we can feel space in our bodies. We can feel length. The exhale is all about surrendering to gravity. We're going to stay here for five more steady breaths. This is a beautiful counter stretch to everyday life. So if you're a person who's sitting most of your day or standing or walking, we tend to keep our bodies in a forward fold position. So this gives our body an opportunity to really open up through the heart space, to drop those shoulders back and down. 
and it takes very little effort. In fact, all we have to do is surrender to gravity for the stretch to do its job. So let's take two or three more breaths. On the next inhale, slowly pull the knees together. Now to come out of this one, takes a little bit of effort. We're gonna bring our arms down by our sides and very gently rock over to your right or left side and you can use your arm. Press up just enough to remove the blocks. We can set them aside but keep them nearby and then come back onto the spine on the mat. As you come back to the spine on the mat, we can pull the knees over the chest. Gently circle the knees. Here, we're stretching and lengthening the base of the spine, changing direction. Good. And then lowering the feet back down, we're going to take one of our blocks and bring that block under the sacrum. So we'll lift the hips enough to place the block at its lowest setting under the sacrum. That's the base of the spine where it meets the glutes. So settling down there, pulling the knees over the chest. From here, we're gonna send the heels toward the ceiling. Reaching through the heels, the toes circle the feet. Changing direction. On the exhale, we can pull the knees back into the chest and we'll just give them a little circle here, this time on the block. You can feel that bottom edge of the block hitting the base of the spine and the glutes. Change direction. Good. Back to center, we're gonna lower the feet to the ground very gently. We could stay here, or we might choose to adjust the setting of our block to a higher one, rolling it onto its side or its edge. Feet planted, or we extend our heels to the bottom corners of the mat. Maybe take the arms wide and starfish the body. Here, we're opening up through the heart, the belly, the hips, pelvis. We're releasing the base of our spine, settling the arms and legs into the ground. Closing your eyes. As the eyes close, we bring our attention, awareness back into the body and back to the breath. Long breathing in, long breathing out. Each exhale, we can feel the physical body dropping into the ground. And on the inhale, we feel the length and space in our body. We feel the breath. Noticing the sensation through the hips and pelvis. Noticing any sensation in the base of the spine. Maybe we send our breath through this area. On the inhale, we're creating space in our hips, in our low back. And on the exhale, we're surrendering to gravity. Four more steady breaths here. Use your breath. And in these longer poses, we can really use the exhale. So we might extend that exhale. Could even be twice the length of your inhale. As you breathe out, settle the physical body into the ground. breath 
here. On the next breath in, we can gently ground down through the feet, bend the knees. We'll lift up off the block just enough to remove it and then reset the hips on the floor. As we come back into the ground, just give your sacrum a moment to settle. And then we can heel toe the feet a little wider than our yoga mat. Let the right knee drop down to the center line. We create this 90 degree angle from our hip to our knee to our heel. And then take your left heel on top of that right thigh, press both knees down. Stay mindful of the knees. We want to keep this stretch in our hips. This is getting into the outer hip. Pressing down gently through the knees. Steady the breath. Close your eyes. Bring your attention right into your hips. Three breaths here. Noticing where the mind is. Gently guiding it back to the breath into the body. On the next inhale, we can gently lift the knees, take the feet the width of your mat, let the left knee drop down to the center line. Create that 90 degrees with the left leg, and then take your right heel to that left thigh. Gently press both knees down. We can feel this in that left outer hip arms wide, closing your eyes, stabilizing the breath. Three breaths here. With each exhale, we can sink the legs. With each inhale, we feel space in the body. On the next breath in, we can gently lift the knees, ground down through the feet. Walking the soles of the feet together, let the knees drop open and just bring your arms comfortably down by your sides. We're gonna close the practice with a four part breath. Closing your eyes, noticing the sensation and quality of your natural breath. Let's exhale all the air from the body. And we'll inhale together for three, two, one. Pause at the top of the breath for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause at the bottom for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one, and pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one, pause for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one, and pause. Three, two, one. Continue the breath, counting in your head. Visualize the square shape of the breath moving through the body. Let's take four more breaths on our own. As you exhale, feel the physical body sink. As you inhale, feel space in your body. Continue the four part breath.
then slowly bring the knees together. Very gently roll over to your right or left side. Pressing up on your inhale. Finding a comfortable seat on the mat. Grounding the sit bones, lengthening the spine. You can bring hands together at the heart. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Thank you all for joining practice today. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. If you're enjoying what we're sharing, please give us a like, and you can also subscribe to this channel below. And if you wanna follow us along on this journey, you can find us at kin.co or on Instagram at kinsite.